Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, because I got too much time on my hand apparently, I'm going to go ahead and take off the wheels, or the tire, <laughs> sorry, the wife's wheels and tires. And uh, I guess uh, we'll just wait until the brake, pad or brake pads and everything show up. Sorry for the camera being all weird. So let me uh, just get in here and uh, do it real quick. Now right, let's try this again. A little So anyway, I guess I should talk or something. But I probably won't. But all I can say is, man, the car's getting some attention lately. Pads look good. I mean, there's plenty of, of meat left on them. But it's not how I operate. I'm gonna do rotors, I'm gonna do pads. Sometimes, sometimes I'll do pads without doing rotors. My only problem is I can't leave. My kid ordered a phone and I gotta be here for the phone to arrive by FedEx. And I don't know. My wife's taking a nap, which I should be in there taking a nap. Going to the gym in the morning is it's fun. Right now, I'll just stick the bolts back in. Oh, I guess I can't. I'll stick them in here. Stick the bolts back in here so this way any stupid little animals, birds that don't like me, cats that can't stand me, when they come over. They can come over and 
steal my nuts and bolts. Um, put you guys on this side. If you can even see. Oh boy. Anyway, that's the same stupid thing over here. Not really doing anything. I'm just popping these. Oh, I gotta. Sticking this in up against the rotor. Pulling. That's it. Taking this. No, no power tools for this job. It's really not that big of a job. If I had all the parts, it would literally take 15 minutes, maybe. It would take longer to, to go break the brakes in than it does to do a whole brake job. So, like I said, just put these bolts in here, put the bolts back in, these pads are still good, So, no big of a deal, no big job. Kind of a boring job, actually. Not probably the way most of the time. So, again, stick the bolts back in. It's the easiest way to. I don't know how many times I've been at my brother's house and my nephew's got floppy feet. Comes in the garage, kicking nuts and bolts. And, uh, hold on, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Don't ever do this. Don't don't ever try this or do this. I mean, you can. I do it. But that's because I'm a professional. As you guys know, do everything professionally, especially painting cars. I love painting cars. So. Not much to this job, as you can see, no big deal, just going to stick the rotors in here because they're not warrantied, only the pads are under warranty. So same thing, ooh, not the same thing. As you can see, those are Allens. They're mine and my wife's, but they're Allens.
That's right, because when I bought the car, I remember now, when I bought the car, it didn't have screws and we were getting vibrations like crazy. So, this is all I could find at Lowe's. Depot's hardware sucks. Lowe's is a, is a lot better than Home Depot. Although when I was at Home Depot yesterday, I did see uh, a lot more hardware. Anyway, so when I get all the new parts, I'll uh, I'll be back. I gotta say, the best tool I've ever bought for my garage is not this brick and junk, but this sink. I feel like Mr. Rogers right now. <laughs> Washing my hands. All the little boys and girls in the neighborhood. She loves to wash her hands, especially before dinner. Anyway, I will, uh, I'll be back when I, after my kid's phone comes, I'll sign for it or if my wife wakes up, when she wakes up or however that works out. Um, if this phone comes and she wakes up, maybe we'll both go to town together, but either way, I am, I will be back and show you. All right, hold on. Hey guys. Got back, got the new pads, whatever, hardware kit. So I'm just gonna clean up, clean up the uh, bracket, I guess, and around the chingus. So these are the pad or uh, rotors I got 31275 GT performance brake rotor. Whoa. I guess I could do that. Anyway, stupid dumb lady. Good old AutoZone. Typical AutoZone. I ordered pads and rotors. Sorry for the weird camera angles. I ordered pads and freaking rotors, and stupid lady only ordered the rotors. So I had to go to another stupid Vato Zone. Just want to see if they're the right size. Okay, they are the right size. Because, I don't know if you know, the manual's got bigger, bigger uh, rotors. Anyway, I'm just going to clean all this up and then uh, slap it all on. So. I will be here and there and there and here. I'll show you guys when I put the rotor on, I guess. Just a little food for thought on how I put brake rotors on. <clears throat> when I get them and they're new like this and in plastic, I just take them and I just tear enough to where the uh, hub will go on. So this way I'm not touching, I'm not touching any of the rotor with greasy hands or anything. I'll start to do it with one hand. So, and this way, as you can see, you got plastic around it. It's going to be hard to do this, I think. Maybe not. I think I got it. So, so i got to figure out where it goes. So obviously the... Screw holes got to line up with everything. So, thinking like this. And yeah, that's where it threads in. Take the little screws that right here, stick them in there. 
Sorry for the shaky camera, but I'm looking for stuff. Anyway, um, I do have the other wheel on already. Just because I was checking fitment. Because just need a couple little zaps if you're going to do it this way. Don't go too crazy. Because these will break. Anyway, then you take this. And you just can peel it from where the caliper side is. Oh, jeez, almost fell. And then you've got yourself a clean rotor, and you don't have to touch it, touch any of this stuff or putting grease on the rotor itself. Anyway, just a quick little thing. I'll show you guys when I'm done. All right, people. Anyway, got them all on. So I'm assuming they're non-directional, obviously, because it's a right and one would say left. Like the EBCs I put on my second gen. Anyway, everything's all torqued. Everything's all good. I'm going to go break them in or seat them in or bed them in, whatever you want to call it. So, And that's going to be it for this video. So, alright guys, thanks for watching. Sorry for my lack of uh, professional video recording and handling, but anyway. Alright, long enough. Subscribe. Check out my boy, Wanna Glenn. Watch the last video. Bell notification. Thank you for subscribing. Later.